now we're talking about shorter term uh, changes in climate on on times on human time scales uh, and Lake George is famous for the way uh, the water level rises uh, for a number of years and then falls and sometimes disappears completely. You know, in 2015, the lake was completely dry. In 2016, uh, after a wet year, the water came up quite close to the road again. But it didn't come at nearly as high uh, as it had done in, uh, in parts of the 1980s uh, and, and particularly in the 1950s and the 1960s. The 1950s and through to the mid-1960s was a period of above average rainfall right across southeastern Australia. And uh, the lake was full enough, uh, it was up to uh, nearly five metres deep, four and a half metres deep at its maximum point, so it's not a very deep lake. Uh, but in the 50s and 60s, uh, it, it lapped up against the highway. Sometimes it even flooded the highway in those days. And when I came to Canberra in 1963, I learned to water ski on Lake George when I was a boy. Uh, my parents had a boat and, and, and there were often, uh, you know, there'd be quite a lot of power boats out here as well as yachts uh, and, and people going fishing. There were fish in the lake. Uh, and it seemed like it was a permanent lake. Uh, and you know, it was a, a focal point for, for picnics and for uh, uh, family outings and, and all the rest of it. But uh, from the mid 1960s, there was a period of, uh, of dry years and the lake started to drop. Uh, and uh, there have been periods since when it was uh, um, completely empty. So the variations can be uh, almost annual, but you can have decadal periods where the lake is either uh, relatively uh, empty of water uh, because it's dry, or as in the case of the 50s and 60s, you see a real lake.